Welcome to another episode of Minutes with Margaret. I am here today in the PAC with Chris Barber, Director of Fine Arts, and Chris Harris, Director of Owasso Bands. And when we say fine arts, Mr. Barber, what are we referring to in Owasso? Uh, the fine arts encompasses all of the performing arts, which would be band and choir, um, also speech and debate, and uh, theater and then the visual arts as well, uh, elementary, high school, everybody, just art class, very personal. Um, we have about 7,500 students enrolled in a, some sort of a fine arts course here. So we have a special trip planned with our fine arts department this spring break. Can you tell us a little bit about that trip and uh, the groups that are going and the events that they're performing in? Uh, yes, we decided uh, after COVID to see if we could do a total department trip that was something we could really hang our hat on and to look forward to. So we uh, decided we we're going to go to Dublin with the band and the choir. The, the band is going to be marching in the St. Patty's Day Parade in Dublin. And then uh, the choir will be singing at Christ Church Cathedral and then St. Mary the Slows Church in Killarney. Uh, two performances for the choir. And then uh, we're doing another small parade after the, Saint, after the one in Dublin in Maytooth, Ireland and everybody's going to get to march in that parade with the band. When I say everybody, the, uh, the theater classes and the visual art classes are also coming with us. They're going to be in Dublin with us for a couple days and then when the band and choir come home, they're going to take a ferry over to London and get to uh, go to Stratford-on-Avon and see uh, Shakespeare's home. Then uh, we're going to London to see some uh, art, go to the Tate Modern Museum, the Globe Theater, do some really London things like the Tower of London, Buckingham Palace, and uh, then maybe go see a show on the West End, hopefully Mousetrap since it's so famous, but we haven't, we're not there yet, but hopefully that's what we're going to be able to do. Well, this is certainly a trip of a lifetime yes. for all of these students, so excited that they get to go. You mentioned that the band is going to march in the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Dublin. So how did that come about? How did we get invited to participate in that parade? Well, it, it's a pretty extensive process. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it's uh, videos, photos, uh, resumes, uh, reference letters from college band directors. And uh, of course it doesn't help when we can, um, it does help when we can put our, on our resume that we've been to the Rose Parade six times. So uh, the parade itself, uh, I did it once in 2014, and it's a great parade through all of the historic uh, spots in Dublin, but there are places on the parade route where it gets so tight, it's almost like you're going through the Tour de France bike race oh with my the goodness. fans right there on top of you. And it's really personal in that way, um, and they really, really love uh, the bands over there, and I just can't wait for the kids to be up close and personal there. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a really neat thing. So you had mentioned um, other our other groups actually marching with the band. So how is that going to work? Yes, uh, well, the band will be in the the big parade, and uh, they will get to watch it from the sides or the grandstands. And we're talking about the the choir and the art and the theater students. But then as soon as this parade is over, we will put everything on a bus and go to a suburb of Dublin to do another parade. And at that point, the other students actually get to march behind the band, just like you see the color guard at the behind. We'll be able to have the, the other students with us. So they'll get to be part of a, of a St. Paddy's Day parade in Ireland as well. So that's gonna be a pretty exciting moment for all of us to get to experience that. So this is a huge endeavor yes, and been, uh, the band or the fine arts department has been planning for over two years uh, with the logistics, the coordination of that, the cost of this is pretty extensive. So I know that these groups have been fundraising and that there's been community support. Can you explain or maybe uh, tell us how uh, others may be able to provide support or if there's anything else that, that we can do to help support. Uh, yeah, the, the big thing is, is we, I think we have one really big fundraiser for our department coming up and that is our musical. Uh, we're presenting High School Musical this year and it it's, uh, really supports our department and it will really uh, help us you know, make some final adjustments to the trip and help the kids out and payments on the last. So anybody, that everybody should come. Bring everybody, bring your family, friends, enemies. We don't care, bring them. It's a great musical. The kids are amazing. It's the first weekend in March and the proceeds go to our department. Well, it sounds like you've got lots of events planned. Is there any other um, event that um, you've got going as far as fundraising that uh, community members can attend? Uh, yes, uh, March 9th, the choir is going to be doing a send off 
a concert at St. John's Episcopal Church in Tulsa. Uh, it's an old stone building shaped like a cathedral, so we're trying to get the experience of a singing in that setting before we leave. Um, and then uh, we, that's open to the public and there's a fundraising event that will probably happen right afterwards. But also, we're gonna post on this video our QR code for anybody that wants to help support this trip. We still have a few more payments to make and any, anything we can get from the community really helps. It's gonna be an amazing trip and uh, we still talk to people that have gone on these trips before in the past in the 80s and they, they talk about how life-changing you know, it, it was, so we're really excited about it. Well, we are looking forward to it and we are grateful for both of you guys, your service to Owasso Public Schools, to the band, to the Fine Arts Department. Um, our Fine Arts Department is absolutely incredible. It's outstanding. It's one of the best, or I think the best, in the state of Oklahoma. And so appreciate your service, appreciate everybody's work um, leading up to this event and really, really looking forward to it. So this concludes another episode of Minutes with Margaret and we will see you next month.